Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today we're going to be reviewing the Four Gate Batch 4 Split Stave by Kelvin. Before I get into this whiskey, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. The first ever split stave barrels that this whiskey was finished in was created by Kelvin Cooperage. The split stave barrels consist of a series of medium toast casks, number two char casks, and number four char casks that have been broken down and rebuilt alternating between toasted staves and number two char on some barrels and toasted staves and number four char on the others. Fourgate then filled the barrels with a five and a half year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and a 12 year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and let the whiskey rest in these split stave barrels for five months. This bourbon consists of a five and a half year and a 12 year blend. They don't give you the percentages of the blend, but they do give you the mash bills of the five and a half year and 12 year whiskeys that are in the blend. The five and a half years mash bill is 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley. The 12 years mash bill is 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley. This bourbon is non-chill filtered. The ABV is 57.8%, 115.6 proof, with an MSRP of around $175. There's only 2,700 bottles produced. With that being said, I'm gonna get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, let's check out the color. The color on this one is a nice, deep copper, maybe even a mahogany color. Nice, dark color to the whiskey. The viscosity on it, it is very viscous, very oily whiskey. Seems to be clinging to the glass very well. Nice, long, thick legs on the whiskey. Nice color, nice viscosity. Let's get in the nose. Cinnamon. Like a vanilla cream. A little cocoa. Nice oak note. The cocoa is a, a very pronounced cocoa note. Very nice cocoa note. And the vanilla is like a creamy vanilla or a creme brulee. A nice oak note also. Maybe even like a like a marshmallowy, a toasted marshmallowy note also on the nose. Very interesting and nice nose to the whiskey. Once again on the nose, you're getting a nice cocoa note, like a vanilla creme brulee, a nice oak note, some cinnamon, and like a toasted marshmallow note. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Right away, I want to say it is very viscous, oily whiskey. Very viscous, coating the mouth extremely well. Nice, long finish. Finish is still kind of going. You get a vanilla, cream note, some cinnamon, a nice oak note, and a little bit of a, a cocoa note kind of floating around there on the finish. Finish is just now tapering off. Nice, long finish to the whiskey. Nice first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Mm. Very viscous once again. Very mouth coating, oily whiskey. Nice long finish. Still going. I caught some mid palate on the second sip like a clove or a baking spice. Maybe even a little vanilla wrapped up in the mid palate also, but the finish is vanilla creme brulee, a little cinnamon oak, some cocoa. And on the second sip, I'm getting like a toasted, like a marshmallowy note. Very creamy whiskey, very nice. Very nice second sip. Let's go in for a third. Cheers.
All right. Got a little vanilla cream note on the front of the palate. Kind of getting drugged through mid palate with that oak, clove, baking spice note. The finish to me is where this whiskey really stands out. A lot going on. The finish, very nice vanilla cream notes, like a toasted marshmallow also, a little cocoa, a little cinnamon, and a nice oak note, a, an aged oak note to the whiskey. Very tasty third sip. Put a little water, add just a little bit of water. I don't have much whiskey left in the glass. Add just a drop or so just to see if it does open up. This is 115.6 proof. Sometimes adding just a little bit of water to the whiskey does open it up a little bit. The water did tame down like the cinnamon note, but you're still getting like vanilla creams, maybe a little clove note. Nice cocoa. Maybe even like a little toasted marshmallow note. It made the whiskey a little more sweet by adding a little bit of water to it. See what it's like on the taste. Cheers. Still creamy and viscous. Finish is definitely not quite as long, but it does offer nice vanilla cream notes, cinnamons, oak, and a little bit of that toasted marshmallow note. I would say the cinnamon with the water, the cinnamon did die down a little bit, but still very tasty with a little bit of water into it. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Four Gate Batch 4 Split Stay by Kelvin. Guys, I thought this pour was absolutely delicious. A very tasty bourbon whiskey. I think that the collaboration they have, Fourgate has, with Kelvin Cooperage is, they're doing some very innovative and creative things in the whiskey world. This first time ever split stave barrels they finished this whiskey in. I think that is definitely Fourgate and Kelvin Cooperage thinking outside the box. And I, I really like what they're doing at Fourgate. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.